other terms carbon neutral, net zero and climate neutral the same or are they different? Whether you're using carbon neutral, net zero or climate neutral in your goal, they all reflect the same intent to reduce or eliminate your organization's impact on the climate system. Hi, I'm Barbara, the co-CEO of 100% Renewables, a consultancy specializing in the development of climate action strategies. In today's video, I'll be talking about the terms carbon neutral, net zero and climate neutral. In most cases, these terms are and can be used interchangeably, but there are differences in how they are defined and what they are taken to mean in terms of how goals are to be achieved. Let's have a look at the definitions of the terms first. According to the IPCC 1.5 degrees report, the definitions are as follows. Carbon neutrality or net zero carbon dioxide emissions is achieved when your organization's CO2 emissions are balanced globally by CO2 removal, typically over one year. Net zero emissions are achieved when your organization's emissions of all greenhouse gases, so CO2e, are balanced by greenhouse gas removals, typically over one year. Climate neutrality is achieved when organizational activities result in no net effect on the climate system. In climate neutral claims, regional or local biogeophysical effects have to be accounted for, such as radiative forcing from aircraft condensation trails, for instance. In summary, a carbon neutral target relates to carbon dioxide only, whereas a net zero goal includes all greenhouse gases, and a climate neutral goal extends to other effects such as radiative forcing as well. For most organizations, Carbon neutral, net zero and climate neutral mean the same. If an organization releases mainly carbon dioxide, there is not much difference between using the term carbon neutral, net zero or climate neutral. And also, for most sectors, net zero emissions and climate neutrality are the same due to the most important climate impact being the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. However, some sectors such as aviation should consider other climate impacts from non-CO2 radiative forcing as well. In my next video, I'll talk about the different greenhouse gases. Thanks for watching.